something's got to happen. I'm not 100% sure what's got to happen, but something needs to happen. We're, we're seeing a difference in the fish, for instance. The cold water fish have moved north. We don't catch any haddock now. We don't catch any cod now. Whiting's getting very scarce. But we're seeing tuners arriving. Well, that's a warm water fish. There's a lot of tuna. We're catching more red bream. We're catching different species of fish. So the water is changing. You won't feel it with your hands, but it is changing. I think well, so we need to do something about it. Um, I think it needs to be thought very, very carefully about, um, which obviously it already is and every option needs to be explored. So I've looked at the, the Out Harbour. Um, if that's what needs to be done, that's what needs to be done. Um, it has obviously got a massive visual impact on Lou. Um, so I think every option needs to be explored first before that decision is made. We are subject to a high degree of risk of flooding, and that's only gonna get worse with climate change. I would love to see the Outer Harbour done and I think that the majority of the owners of the Fall Street and this area here would all vote 100% to have it done. It's really, really important now that we get a decent flood scheme in place and put in place in an environmentally friendly way in order that the town can look to the future and look to future prosperity in a very positive way. To deny it from a point of view of um, aesthetics, from the way that it looks, it's got to be the practicality. I understand there's got to be a balance because Lou is a beautiful place.